Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we are going to learn how to animate this character in After Effects. I will also show you how to animate a run cycle with moving elements like this character. But before that, I would like to tell you that you can download this vector file and follow along with the tutorial. The link to the vector file is in the description below. All right, let's dive into After Effects and get started. First, open After Effects and double click on the panel to import the vector file. Then select the file and make sure you import it as a composition with the Retain Layer Sizes option. Then click Import. Drag and drop this composition into the panel and open it. You can see there are lots of Illustrator layers, so we have to convert them into shape layers. Simply select all the layers, right click, choose Create, and then Create Shapes from Vector Layer. If you see this pop-up box which tells you that not all layers were converted due to empty or unsupported content, simply click OK and ignore this box. Next, click one of the Illustrator layers, then choose Select Label Group to select all the Illustrator layers and delete them if you see a gray box. Simply select this and delete it. After that, select the text layers and pre-compose them giving the composition a name like text and checking the move all attributes option, then click OK. Next, hide this composition and lock it. After that, rename the shape layers one by one like this. Renaming the layers is beneficial for you to recognize the elements. Next, select the composition and go to composition settings. Then choose a gray color so that we can easily see our character against this gray background. Then select the leg upper layer and open the rotation properties. At the first frame, click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe and set the rotation value of this keyframe to minus 45 degrees. Then move the time indicator to 30 frames and change the rotation value to 45 degrees. Move the time indicator to one second and change the rotation value to minus 45 degrees. Check the RAM preview. Then select all the keyframes and easy ease them. This will make the animation smoother. After that, select the lower leg layer. Then open the rotation properties and add a keyframe at the first frame. Move the time indicator then press Ctrl plus R on the keyboard to open the ruler in the composition and add a guideline like this. Then add a keyframe here. Move the time indicator to around 30 frames and change the value to 50 degrees. Check the preview by dragging the time indicator. I think this keyframe should be around here. Move the time indicator once again and change the value to 88 degrees. Move the time indicator one last time to one second and change the value to zero degrees. Now check the RAM preview. If it's not good, adjust the keyframes like this. Yeah, that looks good. After that, hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the rotation properties of the upper leg layer. You can see this option. Simply click on this icon and choose Property. Under Property, choose the Loop Out Duration option. This expression helps you run this animation in a loop, so we don't need to create more keyframes in this layer. After that, select all the keyframes of the lower leg layer and Easy Ease them as well. Then once again hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch, then choose Property, and under Property, select the Loop Out Duration option. Check the RAM preview. You can see our animation is playing in the loop without creating duplicate keyframes. All right, after that, close the layers and select both leg layers and change their color to yellow. Then duplicate these layers and place them above. Nice. Then press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes of these layers. Move them backward like this and check the RAM preview. It's a simple way to create a run cycle animation. All right, so let's move forward and select all the layers except the bowl layer. 
Then parent them to the bowl. Also, change the bowl shape layer to yellow to recognize it better. Now you can see if I move the bowl, the rest of the elements move with this bowl. Now press P on the keyboard to reveal the position properties of this layer and add a keyframe at the first frame. Move the time indicator forward a bit and add another keyframe here by dragging the bowl downwards a bit. Then move the time indicator once again and copy the first keyframe and paste it here. Now select all the keyframes and adjust them a bit to match the leg movements. Now select the first and third keyframes of this position and easy ease them. Then once again, we have to apply the expression of loop out. So hold Alt on the keyboard and click on this stopwatch to reveal this option. Click on this icon and select Property. Under Property, you will see this Loop Out Duration option. Simply select it, then click anywhere, and check the RAM preview. It looks too fast, so select all the keyframes, hold Alt on the keyboard, select the last keyframe, and drag it like this to increase the speed of the bowl animation. This looks much better. Now we will animate the noodle lines. So first of all, select the line and lock it. Then select the pen tool and draw a straight line like this. Change the stroke color to white. Then simply select the layer and rename it as line one. Then right click and pre-compose this layer. Select move all attributes and click OK. Then open this composition and zoom in a little bit. Then select this region of interest icon. After that, drag the cursor and create a box like this. Then go to Composition and select Crop Comp to Region of Interest. So you can see we cropped the composition according to our line, and now we can add an effect on this layer. Simply go to the Effects panel and search for the Wave Warp effect. Simply drag and drop it to this layer. Here you can see the effect settings in the Effects Control panel. So we start from the wave height, change the wave height to around minus 12, then change the wave width to something around 103, then change the direction to minus 120, then change the wave speed to 2.4, and change pinning from none to right edge. Check the RAM preview. Nice! So you will get this kind of wavy line animation. Then simply select the layer and search for cap. Change the line cap to round cap. Then close the option and select the layer. Then right click and select layer styles. And under the layer styles, select stroke. Simply change the stroke color from red to black. Nice. Go back to the main composition. Zoom out a little bit and reposition this and place it below all the layers. Then simply select the line composition layer and parent it to the bowl layer. Check the RAM preview. So our noodle line sticks with the bowl movement. After that, select our line composition and duplicate it. Then adjust it like this. Also, you can stretch it a bit like this and reposition it so that it looks natural. Once again, duplicate the layer one more time and change the position of this composition. Also, adjust the layer in the timeline like this to get a variation. You can adjust the noodle line layers as per your satisfaction. You can duplicate as many times as you want and reposition them according to your preference. Alright, so we have already animated the legs, the bowl, as well as the noodle lines. Now we are going to animate these three elements. So first of all, select all three layers and press P on the keyboard to reveal the position properties of these layers. Then click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Move the time indicator and add another keyframe. Add the last one here. Now go back to the second keyframes and change the position of these elements, something like this. Then check the RAM preview. 
Then select all the keyframes and easy ease them except for the middle one. Now, open the bowl keyframes. Select all the keyframes of the noodle. Then hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the third keyframe. Drag it like this to match the bowl movements. Then select the expression of the bowl layer. Copy it from here, then select the next layer. Then hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch to open the expression panel. Then paste the script code here and repeat this process with the other layers. Nice. Check the RAM preview. So it will be moving in a loop just like before. If you want, you can adjust it a little bit to match the overall animation. Nice. All right, so lastly, select the bowl and click on the fill option. Here you can see the different options for the fill. All we need to do is select this linear gradient option, then click OK and adjust the gradient like this. It gives the feel of the bowl like it's a glass bowl. Also, you can adjust the bowl shape a little bit if it doesn't cover the noodles. You can also change the leg color by using the linear gradient as we did before. Simply select the layer, choose Linear Gradient, and adjust the handles as I am doing here. After that, select the bowl, right click, and under Layer Styles, choose Drop Shadow option, then open the Drop Shadow option, and increase the size a little bit. Check the RAM preview. It looks much better now. Lastly, we can delete these line layers and add a solid layer to this composition. Change the color according to your need. I am choosing orange here, and that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial and learned something new today. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comment box. I will be happy to reply to you as soon as possible. So, do practice and improve your skills in motion graphics. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.